I don't know, throw my hands up, bite the bullet. I'm not sure what I can do now. New at 11, a San Diego man is angry about spending thousands of dollars making his home energy efficient, only to have SDG&E change its rate structure. He tells 10 News anchor Itika Milanis how he will likely pay more for trying to meet SDG&E's previous requirements to conserve. This home is the epitome of energy efficiency. The lights, the appliances, but soon the homeowner's efforts may be all for nothing. This was the original home that we lived in for 10 years. The Birdwalk home was about 1,100 square feet. It had no insulation. We had a, a heater that was the most inefficient heater that you could ever think of. Jack Resnick and his wife rebuilt their home, almost triple the original size, and they went full throttle with energy efficiency. We put in as much insulation in the walls as we could. The refrigerator over here was the most energy efficient one that we could find at the time. Same with the washer and dryer, the water heater. And then the light fixtures are all energy efficient. We put in the double glazed windows. You get the picture. Our electric bills actually fell. Now, after all that, SDG&E's new rate system is about to kick in. Customers who fall under Tier 1, those who use the least amount of energy, will see their bills go up about 20% by the end of the year. And those in Tier 4, the higher energy users, will see their rates drop by about 14 percent. Well, I'm not happy because we did everything that was recommended by the state, the city, the energy companies during the energy crises. Resnick believes people should be charged according to the amount of energy they use. Their reasoning seems to me not to make a lot of sense. But he says there is one thing that does make sense. They seem to have a lot of influence and I think uh, big money speaks very loudly. Itika Milanis, 10 News.